No, it was. It was disappointing. I think uh, you know, we, we certainly came in with um, a lot of energy around trying to complete the sweep, but I think uh, full credit to England. They played like the number two team in the world and um, they put us under pressure. I think uh, it was a good bowling and fielding unit today. I think uh, 160 was about a pass score on that wicket, so we felt pretty good going in the break. Um, but we just never really settled with the bat and I think we played some poor shots, uh, lost our shape, which we always talk about. So put ourselves under pressure and then that over from Villiers um, probably turned it on its head. Two wickets in the one over, uh, put us back and then we had to rebuild for a bit too long. So uh, yeah, it was disappointing, but overall I'm um, incredibly happy and satisfied with a great tour. So um, yeah, great leadership from Elisa Healy at the end there, brought everyone in together and just said, let's just remember how great this tour has been. Um, and credit we're playing against a very good cricket team and they come out and played well tonight. What's been the highlight of the uh, I just, uh, I think just the amount of contributors that we've had. I think there's been that many different contributors at different times with the bat, the ball and the field. Um, even the way the, the, the players are throwing themselves around tonight, we had some great saves. Um, so the, the energy and effort was always there and um, we knew it, it was, it was going to be hard work to get the the full sweep but um, yeah I thought England um, they looked a different team tonight they came out and hit hard links which we try and do and they made it hard for our batting unit but uh, throughout the whole series I just think different people stood up at different times and you know it's interesting thinking back to, to Leicester how long ago that seems now and um, you know DK's uh, con contribution there at the start I think was was a real big one for us and allowed us to get momentum um, coming into the, the back end of the series. Did it was it was there any way you'd have liked to see uh, Elise come back into bowl when Amy went out to bat, knowing the hold she's had over her? Yeah, I, I, it went through my mind. I think um, it was something we, we definitely talked about. And um, credit to England, they adapted and batted her down the order. And it wasn't the right time, obviously, for, for Meg to bring her on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's something we'll look at going forward, definitely. And um, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of an edge there, so we, we won't waste that too often. Throwing forward a little bit. Um, big goal next year is not only to win the World T20 but to fill the MCG in the World T20 final. Do you think with the sort of team you're putting together here and the personalities and the performances that that's, a, that's something that seriously could happen next next March, you could fill the MCG? Uh, yeah, I think it's incredibly ambitious uh, for CA to do that but I think it just shows um, how much confidence they've got in the group and just the way the women's game's going. I think uh, you know, all the crowd that turned out here today for what really was a dead rubber in terms of the, the series but there was, it was everyone was involved, everyone's loving it. Um, and as you said, I think it's not only I think the, the calibre of players we've got, but the calibre of people. And I think that it's obvious all the feedback we've had around the grounds, which is probably the thing I'm most proud of, is, is how we've engaged with people at the ground. You know, all the feedback around the way we look after the rooms, all the little things that we do around the group. I think is that that's what makes this group so special. Do you feel you've sort of almost like all black light? You sort of set your own standards. I think every team in the world thinks about the All Blacks as, as being the, the benchmark and yeah, there's definitely, um, you know, we've all read the book, Legacy, and um, it's something we've aspired to do and I, I think we're incredibly proud of our record. It's, it's albeit in a different sport, but certainly our high win percentage rate is something we're incredibly proud of over the last few years and uh, this team's been a very strong team for a long time and um, so have England. I think, you know, we, we said coming into this match, England are the, the current ODI world champions and T20 finalists. So, um, we come to this series expecting a great uh, contest and, and we've had it at different times but to get the result we've had is, is incredibly special for this group and it's not something we take lightly. Do you think you'll be a better team sorry, the, uh, in February than you are now? Well, hopefully, yeah. I think we've still got areas that we'd like to tidy up um, but yeah, generally speaking, I think Meg spoke really well tonight. Not, it's not just the senior players that are driving this group. We've, all the young players that we've added to the group have added something different um, and they brought energy and enthusiasm and it's, um, they've performed straight away. So uh, we'll continue to look at this. We'll obviously go back for three weeks and, and build into a West Indies tour, which will be another challenge again, um, and then straight into Sri Lanka at home. So uh, we've still got a lot of cricket before that T20 World Cup. So you know, there'll be opportunities for other players to come in and show what they've got. Um, but the nucleus of our side is, is really firing on something, um, obviously leads us in, into the World Cup nicely. It's also a very proud team. Does a result like that poke the angry bear looking ahead? No, I don't. I've got to admit, it doesn't feel anything like the other ones. I think, um, uh, you know, when we when we re released the pressure last time and they got back to draw the series, that was a really bitter taste. Um, but I, I can't fault the energy and enthusiasm tonight. I don't think we switched off at all. Um, all the talk coming in the match was exactly the same as we've done for every other match. 
And as we said, England are a very good cricket team and they played well tonight. So uh, it's certainly not the same feeling as, as it has been before. Of, of course, we would love to have won tonight and it would have been great to, to win the game and, and celebrate like that. But I think um, what we have done has been quite subdued throughout this tour on our celebrations, but I think we're going to really enjoy it tonight. Matt, one of the differences we've looked at in this series is like how much stronger the Australian domestic system seems than the one here. What's your view on those two systems? How do they look to you? Well, I can't really comment too much on the English system, but I, I would say that um, you know, Cricket Australia deserves a lot of credit for the way that we've moved in the last five to ten years and, and the, the game is growing strongly. There's always, when you win a series, I think even in the men's, it's, it's always the structures that come under pressure. Um, but often, it, you know, there's, we, as we said, there's some turning points early in the series and it could have been a very different looking series. Um, I know they put, they're going to inject a lot of money into the system over here and that, that will, uh, I think, help things a lot. But um, I suppose just siphoning the talent and, and getting more elite teams is, is, is the thing that's happened the most. And I asked, I, we, we actually caught up with English staff last night and exchanged a lot of ideas and um, definitely the WBBL um, for us has, has given players an opportunity. The, the, the Ash Gardeners of the world, the Sophie Molyneux who potentially in their state WNCL teams might have been batting lower down the order, got opportunities to bat at three and four and stuff like that and stake their claim. So definitely the, the WBBL has had a big impact. Um, but as has come out with the, the latest schedule as well, we still really rate WNCL as a, a development pathway as well. So when you were chatting with those uh, with the England staff, is that you're sort of seeing that as a collaborative thing that you want to get the sport moving together? Yeah, look, I think we... Um, you know, it's a fraternity coaching and support staff as well, and um, you know we we're, we're like anyone. We you love winning, but you all can also can empathise with them and what they're going through because you, you know what it's like to be on the on the back end of it as well. So it's a, it's sort of like a, a, a union of such, and we do exchange ideas. And um, yeah, I think we've got a really great respect of their group, and and I'm pretty sure they've got the same of ours. So uh, it is a bit of a union, and we we try and look out for each other and help each other where we can and learn from each other um, because you never know where the next bit of good advice is coming from.